Today, Kevin and I are going to try some new to us Mr. Kipling uh, items. These are from the United Kingdom. Uh, Dr. J sent them from the UK, so thank you very much to Dr. J. Uh, these are the Mr. Kipling raspberry and vanilla candy cane slices. And these are uh, mince pots. So, so are they, they're not actually, they just look like candy canes. They're not. They're, they're raspberry and yeah. vanilla. That easy happens. Well, yeah, they came right out. <laughs> it comes so, they come in packages. The slices usually come in packages like this. And, uh, the, which is nice because each individual cake, you know, is in its own little capsule to keep it um, fresh. You have to make sound effects when you cut stuff. <laughs> Red and white sponge topped with a decorated raspberry and vanilla flavored icing. It is 109 calories. Not bad. I got raspberry flavor. Really I do good. too. I was wondering if you would like it. Mm, it's good. It's very sweet. Yes, it's it's like a um, a candy raspberry. It is. It's missing that all that tartness and berry likeness of a raspberry. Exactly. So <laughs> you got all the sweetness and flavor, but none of that bad stuff. Right. Because normally the tartness turns Kevin off. In the he, seeds. Oh, he's not a huge raspberry fan. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is, it's just all sweet and you do taste the raspberry and the vanilla mm -hmm. together. The vanilla gives it a little creamy flavor. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Very good cake. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Okay, these mince pies, I'm assuming it's going to be open. There's not going to be a bag or plastic around it and there's going to be four in the package. Right. In the little tray. What do you right. Think? Yes. Oh yeah. That's my prediction. Based on, that's how, the, based on other Mr. Kipper's. They've been in the past. Ooh. Like the apple. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. They're in a package. They're in a package. They you normally they've they, changed that tray though. They have because the tray used to be red. I think it, it, they weren't a red tray. Well, they've they've never. We've always thought it was weird that they just had them um, in the package, just loose, flopping around in there. And um, these do not have that. This, these are like the little pecan pies you get over here. Wonder if you could. I would think so. I don't know. Oh yeah. Pop look. It out. So. So that I'm gonna. How liquidy is the It's middle. gonna be very liquidy. I'm gonna cut this. No, no, it's firmer than I thought. Okay, so this is how it looks. Oh yeah, that's about as firm as a. And I'm gonna, product. I'm gonna tell you uh, what is in it. Okay, so if you're wondering what is in a mincemeat, it is apple puree, raisins, sultanas, currants, candied mixed peel, orange peel, lemon peel. Uh, you have um, ground mixed spice. You have nutmeg, ginger, clove, turmeric, caraway, coriander, cinnamon. Uh, it's, spice. So it's things like that. That is what is in the mincemeat. And these are gluten free. They are 259 calories for the whole thing, but it's a, it's a good size pie. I like the mixture of the spices and the flavors of the, like the, um, the raisins and sultanas. They don't use raisins, but sultanas. And, um, you really taste the peel, the, mm. especially the orange peel and the mixed peel, which probably has a little lemon in there too. Yeah, that's, yes. But I taste all those spices all, too. Yeah, it all comes together really nicely. I don't know that that would be a taste for everyone. I'm not sure that everyone would like that. I like it. But I really like those spices and the and the raisins and the peel and stuff. But some people wouldn't like that. I think um, Americans have not grown up with this flavor. Right. So I think for people in uh, Great Britain, you know, they're used this to this. staple. <laughs> yes, it is. And and you know, like the first sign of the holiday season is eating your men's pie. Um, I really like it. I think it's a good flavor, but I think uh, Americans, especially children, I don't know that they would get into it as much unless you were, unless you had it from a kid. Mm -hmm. Because you do have the orange peel and the lemon peel and then all those spices. But I think it's absolutely delicious. Do they have and, dates in there too? Uh, I didn't see dates, but it has currants and sultanas and. I'm getting little um, seeds like it dates. Has nutmeg and I mean, there's just all yeah. kinds of stuff. In well, there. they're very, very good. It they're has good ground almonds. 
I mean, I could go on and on. It, it's full of stuff. Um, and there's um, all natural flavors, no artificial colors, um, no hydrogen. I'm surprised these are gluten free too. Fat, no hydrogenated fat, wheat, and gluten free. Susta uh, sorry, suitable for vegetarians, suitable for vegans. I wonder if the crust is not made out of the uh, almond flour. I was going to say, I really like the crust. Mm -hmm. I bet you anything it's almond flour. Uh, if they had not told me that it was gluten-free, I, I, I wouldn't know. No, no I wouldn't know at all. I think it's very good. Um, I'd say a lot of people would probably heat these up a little bit too. Maybe. I like it like it is, but some people might heat them up. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. You'll have to let me know if you are in the United Kingdom, if you eat these all the time, do you normally heat them up or do you just eat them out of the package? I like my other package. So both of these are very good though. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so thank you very much to Dr. J for sending them to us. I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.